Esther here, CEO and founder of Virtual Assistant Internship and the 90 Day VA program, where I've helped over a thousand women work online as VAs around the world. We've been working through how to transition you into the online work world step by step. Part one, we did a skills assessment, and I bet you were surprised at how many skills you actually do have to work online, right? We also talked about how to figure out who you want to work with, but now we're going to dig into my personal favorite topic, the money. <laughs> we get this question all the time from students in 90 Day VA. They have a business owner ask them, how much do you charge per hour, and they start freaking out and shaking in the boots. Now, I know you want me to come here and just tell you point blank, based on X years of experience and skills, this is how much you can make. But that's just not how it works, dude. Pricing is a very personal and complicated endeavor. Depending on where you live, what you need to survive on, what skills you have or don't have, who you want to work with, all of this factors into how much to charge. But I'm going to try to give you as many guidelines as possible here, and I have a super special gift to help you calculate your own personal rate thereafter as well. is going to be in US dollars, and it'll actually be the same for the most part around the world. So you can just convert the US dollars into your local wage. Now, on average, if the only skills you have are something like email, typing, calendar management, maybe some phone calls, then you're gonna always be stuck at the $10 per hour or less mark. The most you'll be able to do for that kind of stuff is 15 per hour. Once you start to add in more higher end skills like advanced writing such as blog posts or company newsletters, social media management, content creation, podcast management, etc., then you can get into the 20 to 30 per hour mark. The next step up is an even more specialized skill like web development, sales funnel building, custom graphic design with that's not just simple Canva stuff or online project management and business management type of things. Facebook ads and other higher end skills that are going to help a business owner make more money is always going to be able to demand higher end rates as well. And this would get you into the 40 to even 100 or more per hour. There's a couple of factors here at play besides just your skills. You also need to have proof that you know how to do these things, which means that just watching a YouTube tutorial on Facebook ads isn't enough, babe. You need to actually have done this with proven results. If you want to be paid the higher end rate for like graphic design, then you need to have proof in a portfolio of what you can do. And the same goes if you're going to jump between the 10 to 25 per hour tasks. Saying, oh, I'm a virtual assistant, I can write your email newsletter, it's not enough. You need to have a sample of it, everything that you're telling someone that you know how to do. But isn't that also the great news? Because that means you don't need a degree to get up to $100 per hour anymore. You just need skills and solid examples of using these skills. Other things that you want to consider is if the person hiring you is going to have you work as an employee and they're going to pay tax on your behalf and maybe offer you health benefits and other perks, which by the way are not rare things to find in the online work world and we feature lots of companies that do offer this. But you, what you'll probably find more is that you'll be paid two to three times more than an employee and expected to pay your own taxes and benefits. This is so companies can hire international long-term contractors to work online without getting lost in work visas. And there's just laws that are not conducive to online work yet. Plus, I don't know about you, but I would prefer to get paid two to three times more and pay my own taxes and benefits. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so with that in mind, did I just confuse you even more? Have no fear because this is where the handy dandy gift comes in. I've created a contractor rate calculator just for you that will take into account all the things that you need to keep in mind when you're a contractor versus an employee. There are so many benefits to being a contractor, like unlimited time off, no boss, you can have tax write-offs like your part of your rent, electric bill, travel, so many things. Use the calculator to come up with your perfect rate or what you know that you want to strive for as you upscale in the coming year. Now, what if you're seeing these skills that I'm talking about or the higher end rates and services, but you're stuck on how to get from where you are now to where you wanna be? 
that's what I'm going to go over in my next video. So click here to check out and grab the rate calculator below as well. And I'll see you in the next class. <laughs>